Welcome back to What Was That? I'm Gabe Sanchez. If there was one person who knows how to get under Donald Trump's skin, it's Jimmy Kimmel. And now the orange Snorlax is once again triggered after Kimmel roasted him over his tanking true social stock and hush money trial. I mean, Trump got so mad that he somehow confused Jimmy Kimmel with Al Pacino. This man who was our president is on trial. He has 34 criminal charges against him. He's still mad about the Oscars. This was five weeks ago. My parents don't even care anymore. Donald Trump's recent tirade started after Jimmy Kimmel made fun of him on a show. The Trump campaign also pushed back on reports that he fell asleep in court yesterday. They said that was fake news and not true, but... <laughs> Then today, according to a number of reporters in the room, he dozed off again. He's very sleepy. Is it possible his lawyers are tranquilizing him? Donald Trump has fallen asleep so much in court that he is now being called Sleepy Don, the Nod Father, and my personal favorite, Don Snorleone. If your only attack against President Biden is calling him Sleepy Joe, then you have one job. Don't f and fall asleep in public. It's not that hard. And maybe if Trump wasn't up all night posting on his Twitter knockoff True Social, he wouldn't be so tired. Who will explain for me to my wonderful son, Baron, who is a great student at a fantastic school that his dad will likely not be allowed to attend his graduation ceremony? Call me crazy, but that kind of seems like something that you would have to explain to your son, Baron. You know, on account of you paying off a porn star while Melania was taking care of Baron when he was a newborn. And since we deal with facts on my show, Baron's graduation is not until Friday, May 17th, and Judge Marshall Sean said that he would not decide on something before the trial even started. Donald Trump is about as bummed out about potentially missing this high school graduation as he was about missing Vietnam. Now, if you think Kimmel stopped there, think again. He went after Trump's shit show of a company, Truth Social. Trump's Ponzi scheme is heading to zero and fast. But Kimmel and his team made an interesting discovery. If you take those peaks and valleys, for the past week or so, and you flip them on their side, go and flip them, and then add a little bit of color to them. <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty uncanny. Something tells me that if you ask someone to find the difference between these two photos, they would not be able to. They're the same picture. Now, this next part is for all you MAGA morons who bought true social stock. If you bought Trump stock two weeks ago, and shame on you if you did, <laughs> you lost half your money. But if you hold on just a little bit longer, you might be able to lose all of it, so. <laughs> Republicans love to complain about President Biden's economy, except it would be that very same economy that would allow them to have disposable income to buy Trump's shitty stock. And look, if you made the decision to buy true social stock, well then you have no one else to blame but yourself. You bet on the guy who has had multiple businesses file for bankruptcy and has been found guilty of defrauding banks and investors. So after Kimmel delivered blow after blow of one-liners and jokes, Trump got bigly mad and ran to true social. Stupid Jimmy Kimmel, who still hasn't recovered from his horrendous performance and big ratings drop as host of the Academy Awards. Actually, the 2024 Oscars averaged 19.5 million viewers, which is a 4% increase from a year ago and scored the biggest audience for any award show since 2020. Trump then went on to say, especially when he showed he suffered from TDS, commonly known as Trump derangement syndrome, to the entire world by reading on air my truth about how bad a job he was doing that night right before he stumbled through announcing the biggest award of all, picture of the year. You sure about that? Has there ever been a worse host than Jimmy Kimmel at the Oscars? <laughs> His opening was that of a less than average person trying too hard to be something which he is not and never can be. <laughs> Get rid of Kimmel and perhaps replace him with another washed up but cheap ABC talent, George Slopinopoulos. He would make everybody on stage look bigger, stronger, and more glamorous, blah, 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 make America great again. <laughs> See if you can guess which former president just posted that on Truth Social. Anyone? No? Well, thank you, President Trump. Um, thank you for watching. I'm surprised you're still watching. Isn't it past your jail time? Ooh, sounds like people were laughing at you, Trump, and rightfully so, because you're a joke and one pathetic loser. <laughs> Let's see what else Trump whined about in his true social post. It was a classic choke, one of the biggest ever in show business and to top it off, he forgot to say the famous and mandatory line and the winner is, instead he stammered around as he opened the envelope. I didn't present the award for best picture. <laughs> I was the host, the host doesn't present awards, the presenters present the awards, and the person who presented the award was Al Pacino, not me. We are different people. But it's also classic Trump to project his own problems onto someone else. Here. 
Take a look. This is a magazine that I've never read. Just this week, it was reported that an illegal alien, and you just look at this. United States Steel Company. That's because we show great weakness. It's at this point, I think it's time to get Grandpa to bed or at least give him a bowl of cereal to keep him occupied. And what better way than with today's sponsor, Magic Spoon. My New Year's resolution is to cut back on sugar and stay on track with my fitness goals. And Magic Spoon makes that easier and more delicious than ever. The Magic Spoon Variety Pack comes in four flavors, Coke, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. Their variety pack has zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and four to five grams of net carbs. Only 140 calories a serving, and it's high protein, has zero grams of sugar, keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, and soy-free. I'm a huge fan of the peanut butter flavor, but I'm an even bigger fan of mixing the peanut butter and cocoa together. It's a simple and high-quality meal to start the day. Magic Spoon has the great taste you love with more protein and less sugar. Go to magicspoon.com Gabe to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure sure to use our promo code Gabe at checkout to save $5 off your order. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. Remember, start the new year off right with a delicious bowl of high-protein cereal at magicspoon.com Gabe and use the code Gabe to save $5 off. Thank you, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring this episode. And don't worry, Donald Trump has a little bit more of his rant to go. Supposedly, his wife and even management begged him not to do it. Don't read this truth, Jimmy. Please don't do this, they said. Nope, that's not what happened. This is what happened. They were like, you got a little bit of time. I was like, I'm reading the Trump tweet. They are like, no, no, don't read the... <laughs> yeah, yes, I am. <laughs> so again, Trump is lying and completely wrong. He was made to look like a fool, which he is, and at the same time go down in television history as the worst host ever of the once vaunted Academy Awards. My first thought is I'm impressed by his use of the word vaunted. I was... <laughs> was even able to spell it correctly, which is really good, very well done. But literally everything else is not just wrong, but maybe we should be worried about him wrong. Like maybe we should take the keys away from grandpa wrong. Sounds like Trump needs a refresher on what happened at the Oscars. Well, thank you, President Trump. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching. I'm surprised you're still, isn't it past your jail time? <laughs> People were not only laughing at Trump inside the theater, but also around the world. And get this, Kimmel did such a good job that he was asked to host the Oscars again next year. I wasn't planning to do, but now I might. Maybe, you know what, maybe you can watch on the TV in the rec room at Rikers with all the guys. I mean, I haven't seen someone get beat this badly since Trump lost the 2020 election. And since we're talking about Donald Trump versus Jimmy Kimmel, potential jurors of Trump's trial were vetted and had their social media posts read aloud in court. It went something like a late night Jimmy Kimmel mean tweets skit. Here are just a few examples taken straight from the court transcript. Quote, good news, Trump lost his court battle and his unlawful travel ban. Get him out and lock him up. Watch out for stupid tweets by DJT. Posts also included memes, like one described by Trump's lawyer, Todd Blanche, quote, as a picture of President Obama and President Trump, and it says, I don't think this is what they meant by orange is the new black. Another juror, Blanche, said, posted a one minute and 30 second AI generated video titled, I'm dumb as F, Trump 2024. Then we learn that Trump's ego is so fragile, and I'm not joking when I say this, he has an aide who follows him around with a wireless printer to print out good news from the internet. That's what Donald Trump had to sit through yesterday. Now keep in mind, this is a person whose entire life in some ways revolves around a sick and destructive desire for praise, as well as revenge against those who dare to say anything negative about him. That desire is so strong that he has an ever-present aide who reportedly follows Trump around with, and I'm quoting here because it's almost not believable, a wireless printer to provide him with an ongoing stream of good news from the internet. Presumably, she followed him to the bodega in Harlem yesterday after a long day in court, where it not be crazy to suspect that Trump's staff might have instigated these chants among the crowd. <laughs> Yes, Harlem Bodega is infamous for the spontaneous Trump crowds that break out into four more year chants. Trump will continue to freak out over mean tweets and Jimmy Kimmel's roast, which only makes Trump look more weak and more pathetic. And it's also coming from jurors that have been dismissed. He just became a citizen of the yeah. United States. So that means you've never voted in a presidential exactly. election. You get called to be a juror. 
and this is the jury that you are called to. Yes. What what was that? Is unbelievable. <laughs> that is unbelievable. I know. What was your impression of of Donald Trump when you saw him? Um, you know, he looked less orange. Uh, definitely, like more yellows. <laughs> like yellow. Oh, and I almost forgot. Kimmel has a message for Trump. And by the way, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. <laughs> well, that's all for me today. Thanks so much for watching, and feel free to follow me. I am Gabe Sanchez. And if you'd like to support the show and get early access to episodes, you can contribute to my Patreon at patreon.com slash I am Gabe Sanchez. Your contribution helps support independent journalism. So until next episode, I'm Gabe Sanchez, and this has been What Was That? What Was That?